actual interstellar light collector is um, 84 parabolic mirrors. These 84 mirrors are 8 feet by 4 feet and they are on the back of a huge collector that is uh, 60 feet wide, 50 feet high, and weighs 30 tons. What is a true fact right now is that moonlight controls your circadian rhythms. That's a fact that everyone has heard about. In most cases, the moonlight is actually deprived in your body. How many times do you go out in the moonlight? How many times have you, besides taking a stroll, maybe once a year, have gotten your dose of moonlight to, to activate all these different cells in your body? And I really do believe Americans in particular are moonlight deprived. Light or vibration or frequency affects the crystalline structure of water. And since the human body is mostly water, then clearly this type of light energy has got to be influencing the actual energetic property of then every cell of the body. Light, when you introduce it to the body, has a very interesting effect. We know based on research that every cell in the body has a receptor site on it for light to enter the cell. You can't assume that people, microbes, and life on Earth does not have a adaptation system set up for uh, receiving and uh, responding to moonlight. Well, I went out to the moonlight and I was only in the moonlight for two and a half minutes one time and I realized that I hadn't had an asthma attack in about a month. I would say my life has been enhanced by coming down in the moonlight. I definitely see ongoing improvements. I feel more balanced emotionally, physically, spiritually. And I realized, wow, I don't wear glasses anymore, and I haven't needed them since. In general, my sleep is deeper, and I think overall, those that I know that have gone, that suffer and have suffered lifelong from depression, they seem to be less depressed. So this is a new kind of therapy. This is full-spectrum lunar therapy. The moon has been with us throughout our evolution. It's time we used it. We are activated by multiplied moonlight.